TikTok is one of those platforms where I feel you just get lost in the midst. It's like a rabbit hole. You start on something and then two hours later, you don't know which way is up and all of a sudden you've gone through like 3,000 videos on your For You page. It's a crazy thing, um, but it can be so entertaining. It can really suck you in. So today I thought it'd be really fun to react to some Polish memes that I saw on TikTok. These are by no means <laughs> anywhere near the amount that is actually on TikTok. These are just some that I've seen pop up left and right and that other people have sent to me. So I'm really excited to look through them and hopefully get a nice laugh. I really enjoy doing these kind of videos. I've already done one before about Polish memes and I'm gonna leave that video up here in the cards for you to watch whenever you are done with this video. But I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, if you have any funny memes that you want me to react to or things that you think I would find funny, please leave them in the comments down below so we can all enjoy them together. Um, uh, but before we get started with this video, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this content and subscribe to my channel. I make new videos once a week about uh, my life here in Poland, talking about some differences between Poland and America, reacting to things about Poland, trying to say Polish words on the internet. Man, that is a daunting task. Uh, but if you guys are excited to stick around, I would love to have you. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and dive into reacting to some Polish memes. So this first one that we have, um, let's take a look here and see what it's about. Polish people don't stop surprising me. There is a city in Poland named Boat. It's, it's like in the middle of the country. They, they don't need boats. Yes, absolutely. This one is so true because here in Poland, there is a city called Łódź. And I don't know if you know this, but I've actually been to Łódź. I went to Łódź about three years ago now with some friends and we just went for a quick weekend and it was super fun. We just took the train from Kraków where I live and we went over to Wuj and we just spent the weekend relaxing, hanging out, enjoying some bars, the outdoor life, that kind of stuff. And Wuj has amazing murals. So if you're into the mural scene or you're just like you like the kind of uh, graffiti art, I guess. It's a great place to go because there were so many. Uh, we had a really nice time. I've had a lot of people ask me, why Wuj? Why would you go? Why not Wuj? It's super fun. It's also close to Warsaw. So if you are in Warsaw uh, and you're just looking for something super quick, why not try out Wuj? It's great. But it is ironic because Wuj means boat and it is in the middle of nowhere. So the irony really hits hard when you think about Wuj as a boat in the middle of Poland that's not near a body of water. So interesting, you gotta love Poland. All right, let's try this other one out. Let's see what it's about. Kolega Rafał nabiera i ładny wyrzut piękny i hop do Mareczka. No. I następnie, i no. This one is really great because I live next to a construction site and I can tell you firsthand, I have seen so much of this, of not just this, but things that safety people in America would be like, what is that? Uh, it would not fly. It is not kosher. There was actually this one time I saw this guy climbing up one of the cranes with no harness on and just no regard for safety at all. And it's like, oh my God, like I cannot believe that this is actually happening. And it was just like up and down cranes with no kind of security thing on. Very different. Uh, and this is just really funny to me because all the guys across the street from doing construction, you know, all do something maybe not exactly like this but similar things and i'm just never it never ceases to amaze me what actually happens here with construction and like the safety rules especially my husband used to work um in a mine in america and like m shaw would come over here to you know if m shaw was to come over here and take a look at what's actually happening in construction sites red flags everywhere shut down for weeks and here it's just like a normal day so i think this is hilarious and something that i have definitely noticed while being over here in poland all right this next meme oh simple thing where have you gone i'm getting old and i need something to First of all, the music on this one, amazing. 
Second, this one is not funny, but I really like this because it showcases the beauty that is Poland. Uh, this is the area in Poland, like in the Tatras Mountains, and it's the lake called Moskio Oko. And I have been to Moskio Oko a few different times. You can actually hike up to Moskio Oko. It's quite a ways to go. It's maybe a few hours hike uh, for up to Moskio Oko but stunning beautiful there's another lake on top of Moskio Oko that is also really pretty the views are amazing the lake is really clear um they have a little cafe over at Moskio Oko as well so you can enjoy that if you don't feel like walking up to Moskio Oko you can definitely take a four-strong carriage up there and then you have to walk like 15 20 minutes from there but it is beautiful it's a great thing for families to do for you to do by yourself if you're there take friends whatever and it's super close to Zakopano and we really enjoy it it's a great place to go and it's stunning I think a lot of people don't realize how beautiful Poland is and this TikTok really showcases the beauty that is Poland and if you are considering visiting you know, maybe you should put it on your list because it really is a stunning place to go. Okay, here's this next one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, uh, this word <laughs> is actually a Polish curse word, and I'm not going to say it because I don't want to get demonetized, so YouTube. Do not demonetize this video, but this is hilarious. It's definitely a, a good Polish slang curse word, and you can use it in a lot of different contexts, and it is hilarious that this kid said it uh, because it's just so Polish. But uh, yeah, I think that is hilarious, and if it was my kid, I don't know why I would laugh or be pissed off. Probably a mixture of both. Like, you'd probably be pissed off first, and then you would laugh the kid later in the privacy of your own bedroom because it's hilarious but that is very bullish this next meme Dancing in the dark. that's wonderful i think that's really great because uh it really hits hard with the polish disco music or disco polo so if you guys know that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But I hear this music a lot, whether it's in the gym, out and about, uh, you know, some people will, like have their speaker on their bike and be playing music on their speakers as they're riding through the town. And you can hear like the disco polo or remixes or whatever. And it really, I have not experienced that in a lot of other places. Poland though, you just, you hear this type of music and it's like, that EDM stuff is just so popular here. So yeah, that's pretty great. Okay, this next. This week in Poland, a woman called the police because she's like, there's this animal in a tree and it has no head and no legs. And it's been so cold and it's been in the tree for two days, but none of the people in the apartment building were open their windows because we don't want it to come inside. She was freaking out about this animal and nobody knew what it was. So eventually she called the police. Somebody dropped a croissant off their balcony and it fell into the tree. That is hilarious, and I am not at all surprised that that is what we are seeing here. Uh, people call the police here for just like random stuff all the time, and the police will show up and they will take care of it. The police here are really great for that. How did it get there? Does someone just like drop it from their balcony? This is these are the questions that I want answered, and I don't know how to get these answers. But I mean, it's very strange to have a croissant in a tree. It's like what do you do? Like trying to throw it to someone down in the street or something? I don't know. How strange, but I'm also not surprised that this is something that would happen here in Poland. Okay, this next one. Speaking Polish to my boyfriend for 24 hours. Let's go. Cześć kochanie. Oh no. Dzień dobry, Louis. Cześć, Roxy. Jak się masz? Idziemy do McDonalda? What? Do McDonalda. The McDonalda? Yep. <laughs> ruszaj się, ruszaj się. Ruszaj się. Zimno ci jest? Jack. Dobra, co chcesz? Eee, uh, Putin. Na śniadanie? <laughs> dzień dobry! Jakie masz plany na dziś? No, dzień dobry. Co chcesz jeść? Pies? Ty chcesz zjeść psa? Kaczka. Kaczka? Chyba coś jest nie tak z nim dzisiaj. <laughs> McDonald's jest zamknięty. Oh my gosh. This is great. So, I am actually in the process of learning Polish. And I'm taking classes. 
What's great is I can understand what's happening here. And I love that. However, uh, Polish is a really, really hard language. And I do not envy people who are learning it. Heck, I don't even envy me who's learning it. Um, and there's just so many words that don't correlate at all to anything in the English language. Uh, like you couldn't even really guess the majority of the words that they have in Polish. And I feel this guy's pain because sometimes that's exactly how I feel when my Polish teacher talks to me or other people try to talk to me in Polish. I'm just like, I've got nothing. Total blank stare, nothing. Uh, but I did understand this and it is really funny that uh, like the answers that he's giving back are just most, most of them are not even close to what she's asking or they're like totally wrong or anyways. This next one. Asking my English boyfriend to guess Polish words. <laughs> There are some words in English that are similar in Polish, right? Cauliflower, chocolate, like those are things that are similar, but the other ones are pretty much anyone's guess. Butelka would, I mean, if you didn't know a Slavic language, would you know that butelka is bottle? Probably not. Scarpetta, scarpetti, sock, socks. Like you wouldn't know that if you didn't, because there's just not many similarities. So I think that's really great because, um, Polish words are hard and they're hard to spell. And, um, yeah, anyways, it just comes with the territory, right? Of learning a new language. It's all languages are difficult to learn. Um, but it is, it's just really funny to try to see people kind of guess what these words are in Polish when they are native English speakers. Okay. I think this is the last one I have. Almighty. This is absolutely something that I feel on an everyday basis in my life here in Poland. So it's a hundred percent true. The Polish people speak so fast. They talk about a lot of things and I'm just sitting over here like, what is going on? I don't really know. So I feel like by the time I come up with a sentence to say, the person I'm speaking to is like 10 sentences ahead. And I'm like, hold on, slow down. I missed part of the story because I was trying to think of something to respond to you. So I know this is exactly how people feel when I speak English and they are not a native speaker or they're learning English. I 100% get that. When you're a native speaker, you tend to speak faster. You just know what you're saying, etc. And someone who's learning is like, hold on, take it down like five notches. So I just, I feel this. TikTok in my soul because that is how I am majority of the time. So um, it's a it's a little crazy because new languages are just really hard, but it just takes a lot to catch up and to understand what's going on. It gets better over time, but it takes a while to get there. So there we go. Those are some just a few TikToks that I found online that I think are actually really funny and are uh, just interesting parts of the Polish culture to try to represent what's actually happening here. So if you guys like these kind of videos, again, be sure to give the thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. I think it's super fun to do stuff like this. And again, if you have things that you found that you think I would like, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to see it and uh, we can all enjoy a good laugh together. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.